tutorial on how to make a potty training car seat mat. Here I have some different materials that I can choose to use and I wanted to show you the options. Really you're going to need a, a piece of pull, which is P-U-L. This is a waterproof material. It's kind of shiny on one side and it's matte on another. And the shiny um, side is the side that will be kind of facing out. But this is something de that you definitely want because this is a waterproof fabric. This is what's going to be going on the bottom. And this bicycle fabric that I have here, this is a nice soft cotton flannel. This is what's going to be going on the top. And really you have two options of what you like to put in the middle part because you need an absorbent layer. I recommend using a fleece and I just picked whatever fleece that I had because you're not going to be able to see it. It's the inside. It makes no difference what it looks like. You will not be able to see it. Otherwise, you can use a thicker flannel like what I have here on the inside. It's really up to you how absorbent you want your mat to be. So what you want to do is you'll take those three materials and again, I recommend the fleece. So your pull, your fleece, and your flannel for the outside these will all be cut 18 inches by 20 inches. You want to do that first before we go ahead and get started. You'll also need a little bit of Velcro. Um, I would say about two inches worth of Velcro. You're going to be using it on, on kind of each side, and I'll show you that a little bit later. Now you want to take your pieces and you want to stack them up together. So you're going to take your pull and you want to put it right side on top and you want to take your flannel piece and put that with the right side touching the right side of your pole. And then you're gonna take your fleece and you're gonna put that on top and then you are going to pin it all the way around so that it is secure. Now I just realized that my fleece was a bit too short so I took a scrap of fleece that I had and I went ahead and just sewn those together so it's no big deal because this is actually going to be the part that kind of comes up. You won't even notice that these two are connected. What you want to do now is cut some slits in there because this is going to actually come up and this, this is going to be cut out because this is going to be where the seat belt comes in. You'll want to measure five inches down from the top. And this is the long end. And this is obviously the short end. So give you an idea. So you measure five inches down. And if you're doing this in centimeters, this is 12 and a half centimeters roughly. And then what you'll need to do, and what I did is I just took a marking pencil and I made a line that is four and a half inches long from the edge. And again, in centimeters, that is 12 centimeters. And what you'll want to do is mark that on each side. Now, as so you can see, I've gone ahead and cut along that line that I just drew. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and sew. I'm going to start up here a few inches in. I'm going to sew all the way around. I'm going to sew into this part here, all the way down, back here, sew into this part here, up, and then again a few inches in. I want to leave this open up here at the top, um, maybe about five inches or so. Again, that's about 12 and a half centimeters, so that way I can flip it out. Once the sewing part is done, you can go ahead and pull it right side out, just through the opening. Be sure that when you have, let's say this is kind of the end, you want to make sure that you're poking out the sides as best as you can. You can just use your finger. Sometimes I use the end of a pencil um, if you've got an eraser end. So here's what it looks like when it has been right sided out. And what you'll need to do is top stitch here from where you have your opening. So you'll fold it in and you'll want to pin it down. And it's best really to, might be good to iron this just to make sure it stays nice and flat. But then you'll want to top stitch from one end to the other. Don't forget to back stitch as well. Now our top has been sewn together. Perfect. Now we are going to make some marks. And we want to go in three inches and we want to just make a mark. And then seven inches and we want to make a mark. And again, this is roughly seven and a half centimeters, 17 and a half centimeters if you're doing this um, in centimeters. But in inches, it's three inches mark, seven inches mark. We're going to do that on both no. sides. So now the reason why we drew those little marks is because we're going to fold. So we want to find that three inch mark that we just made. And we want to actually line it up here with the seven inch 
line. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pin this into place. We wanna do the same thing over here. Find your three inch line, and we're gonna match that up with the seven inch line. Here you can see that I've already gone ahead and folded and so that my lines match, and I've pinned it down. So what I wanna do next is I want to find where that mark was, and that's the seven inch mark here, and I'm going to mark it on this side. And what I want to do is I want to draw a line from this mark all the way down to this corner. So I have my flat edge, marking it up here, and again, this way I draw a nice straight line. And then again, we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this back to our machine and we're going to sew right along this line. Don't forget to backstitch. So here you have it. You've gone ahead and sewn it down just like that. This might be a good time to maybe flatten it out again with an iron because you're going to be working now here to cut a hole for the buckle for the seat belt. So as you can see it's it's starting to take shape. Now because not all two car seats are made the same, it might be a good idea for you to actually just put this into your car seat. This is the back and have this lay flat just to get an idea of where your buckle is. I'm gonna give you some general measurements of where you could be placing the hole for your bu uh, buckle, but it's best that you do some kind of measurements on your own for your own car seat. This, um, we have used it in a couple of different car seats, so I'm hoping it also will work on yours um, if you don't do your own measurements. So here, what we're gonna do, you're gonna need to get your measuring tape, and I'm gonna start it all the way here to the back, and I'm gonna measure about nine inches or so, and that is 23 centimeters, again, if you're doing centimeters. And you're gonna want this to be in the direct center of your mat. So you'll want to fold it and then come up with just what nine inches is. So that way you're getting it in the right spot. So first find the center and then mark that center spot with your marking pencil. Next I want to make a line that is roughly three and a quarter inches, could be three and a half inches. I guess it all depends on how um, wide your buckle is. I've noticed that lately a lot of the buckles are pretty large, so I personally would not go any lower than three inches um, for the space of, of the hole for your buckle. Um, I found my middle mark here, and if I'm gonna go three and a quarter, so then I wanna do roughly, a, uh, find the middle of that, and then I wanna line that middle section up with the center of my fabric. Then I'm going to draw my line, and again, I can use my flat edge here to make sure that it is. So I'll just mark my sides here, and I can use my flat edge to make sure that it is straight. I can also make sure that, that these marks are still nine inches from the edge. I'm gonna do that before I draw my line. Once you've drawn your line, it's all in place here of where you're gonna put uh, your buckle. Next, you wanna put this into your sewing machine. Set your sewing machine to the button setting and you're gonna be sewing along here. If you are very new to sewing and you're not quite sure what that means and you're not quite familiar with your sewing machine, it should be okay for you just to sew along the top, side, and bottom. Just make a rectangle around this line with your sewing machine all the way around. That is, again, if you're not familiar with the button setting and how to use your sewing machine, it should work out just fine. Once you've done that, you wanna make sure that there's a space in between, obviously, you haven't sewn over any of the blue. Um, and then you're going to take your seam ripper and you're going to just tear open this spot here so that way you've made a nice hole. So here you have it, my lovely friends. I've gone ahead and sewn all the way around. I don't think you can quite tell that there's the blue in the middle. But um, now I'm gonna take my seam ripper. So that's this lovely looking Using thing here. Seam ripper. So here I've yeah. just poked a hole in it. And again, do not touch any of the area that you just sewed. Um, you might find it a bit difficult to kind of pull through because you've got so much fabric, but just take your time and be careful um, a little bit at a time. So you can see, 
not too not too bad okay this is what it looks like now or there's an opening here for the buckle to come through on the car seat so now this will be sitting here your, your child there and then the buckle will be coming out there you have plenty of room for your child to sit on but we are not done yet next you want to grab some velcro um, you're going to need two squares, one for each side because we're going to kind of tame these these puppies a little bit, hold them down a bit. So I would say that you'd need maybe a one inch by one inch square of Velcro. And again, that's probably about three centimeters by three centimeters. Now I have my Velcro cut into one inch little squares. I mean, you can't really, how wide it's gonna be. So it's just one inch long. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the fluffy part and that is going to go here on the edge. So I have another one which will go over there. And I'm gonna pin it down. And then I'm going to take the rough edge and put that on the back of this. And so when it is all said and done, these will actually connect and hold it upward. You still have a space down here for the seatbelt to come through and to connect over here with your, with, with your buckle. So that's what you wanna do first. Pin it down, then you're gonna sew all the way around, and then you're gonna do that with the other side as well. Now we've attached the Velcro to both sides, and we're just going to connect it together, and then this is ready to go into your car seat. Again, the straps will come through here and the buckle will come through here. You are now ready to take a long car ride or a long plane ride anywhere with your potty training toddler. You'll have no worries about any accidents with this mat. Here we have it in the car seat. The buckle goes through the middle. The straps go through here with the Velcro and it fits nice and tight in the car seat, ready for a nice long trip.